Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adrian0077 here and uh, today I have another Pokemon statue review for you guys. Today is Pokemon Trainer Rosa with her Snivy and this is comes to you from the makers over at Kotobukeya and this is part of their Artifacts J line. Alright, so now that I've got that all out of the way, let's focus in on the st statue, shall we? Alright, so first off, let's talk about the pose, shall we? I really like the pose that she's in. She's in, you know, in the middle of a Pokemon battle and, you know, she's giving uh, battle commands to Snivy and I, I just, overall, I really like the pose, you know, she has that Pokeball right there, she's uh, giving commands with her other hand, you know, it looks really good, I like the way the face looks, they did a really nice job on the face, I mean, it really looks uh, like her from, you know, have you seen any pictures of her from, like, you know, the Pokemon games or just, like, the official Pokemon art, it looks exactly like her, so nice face sculpt, I really like what they did. The eyes, the blue that they used, it looks really cool. The, you know, her hair is really well detailed and, you know, the nice dark uh, brown and, you know, the shades of brown they used for her hair is, you know, the paint that they did for it was really good. And just the amount of detail on her hair is really good. As you guys can see as I turn her over and you guys can see for yourselves, just look at all the detail they used for the hair right there. In the back of her head, you know, the hair buns, her pigtails. Just overall, it's done really nice. They did a good job. Uh, you know, her visor looks good. Uh, the paint, you know, that they use for her visor is really well done. The pink, you know, there's like little, like, splotchiness, but like, not too much that, you know, from far away you won't be able to notice. But, you know, it's done really well. They did a good job with the paint. For the pink and the white, you know, just well done. Again, here, like the inside of her hair buns, you could see like a yellow, you know, like ribbon that they done, and it's also really good. I mean, it's so deep in there, like they could have gotten away with it not doing it, but you know, they did it anyways, and it's done. You know, it just brings more realism to the the statue, so that looks good. Uh, her shirt is also really well done. You got the nice lavender, like a light lavender color for, you know, her sleeves and the upper shirt. And, you know, the nice, like, white paint for the the middle of the shirt or, like, the rest of it. And the details on her shirt look really good. You got the nice, you know, like, fold or wrinkle details right here. Nice line details down here, you know, for the trim. Right here for, you know, like, uh, her sleeves. Really well done. You know, the inner part, you know, you have that, that pink, uh, you know, like pink shirt that she's wearing under. Really well done. The ribbon was also nicely detailed right here. And the nice paint applications used for the, the bow is really well done. So overall, the shirt is really well done and it looks nice. Really well crafted, really well sculpted for the, the, the texture and the detail. Really well done. The paint that they used right here for the Pokemon symbol is really cool. It has that nice black outline with the nice pink color right there for the rest of the Pokeball. And again, no paint splotches right there. Everything came out neat. So that's good. Again, you have a little like wristband right here, which is pretty cool. And she has a little like Pokemon device right there. I forgot in black and white too what they use. It was like uh, kind of like a cell phone, I guess, like in gold and silver. I'm not too sure. I haven't played these games in a while, but... Uh, that's cool. Again, you have like detail. Let me see if I could get this clear for you guys. You know, I have like inner hand detail right there. You know, like you look at your hand, you see the marks. Like they've done a really nice job of, you know, like representing that. So that's cool that they did that. Uh, and now looking towards the the skirt. Now, again, the detail that they did for the skirt is amazing. You got the nice, you know, like her skirt's like flowing in the wind, so they have that nice, you know, skirt detail or, yeah, that they did right there. It's really good. Uh, nice pocket area right here. Right here, it seems like it's a little dirty. Uh, but you got some, like, black scuff marks right there. But nothing too bad. But, yeah, again, the detail for the shirt is really nice. And the paint, got that nice, like, light yellow paint for the skirt. All right, so the leggings look really good too. Nice, like, flat back. It's, like, really smooth. It has a nice shine to it. It's really cool. They focus in on, you know, like, the wrinkle details right here towards, like, the knee area, which is really nice. You know, it brings that realism again. Uh, I got pink color for the socks. Nice lavender color again for the shoes. 
which is also done. You got a nice like lighter lavender color going into like a darker lavender color for the rest of the shoes right there. And, uh, uh, a lighter yellow for the shoelaces and you know white paint right here for like you know the the flaps. I'm not sure what you call that part, but you know the flaps of the shoes, which is really cool. Nice white for the rest of the shoes. The trim, really nicely done. Again, the bottom of the shoes have like nice detail. You see the Pokemon symbol right there. More details even right here, which is you know really good um attention to detail right there you know you don't really need that you could probably get away with just leaving that you know like all white but they go ahead and do it and i think that's pretty neat of them all right the base looks really nice i think the base they missed an opportunity right here making it black and white you know that's the pokemon game she comes from black and white too so you know it would have been cool if this was like black and the outer area was white but instead you get like a dark gray and then a light gray but Overall, the statue is really well done. I'm really pleased with it. You know, Kotobuga, like, never, like, really disappoints me. They never disappoint me. They always do fantastic work. So, I really like this statue, and I recommend you guys get it. So, let me get Rose out of the way really fast, and I'll show you guys the Pokemon she comes with, which is Snivy. All right, here we got Snivy, you guys. And, you know, the same amount of detail that they put into Rosa, they put into Snivy. I mean, look at the paint application that they use for Snivy is really well done too. There's no splotchiness like at all on this guy. Got a nice dark green for his body, you no know, lighter green right here for his head, going into like a darker green like, towards the edges. A nice uh, light yellow color for like the bottom of his body, line details for his mouth and his nose. The color that they use on his eyes is really cool. The dark brown, the light brown, just really well done. You know, the like, yellow area right here is nicely painted for his eyes and the, his little vine whips right here. Nice uh, sculpted arm detail right here for his little arms, which is pretty nice. Uh, I like his like leaf tail. They done that really good. Again, nice yellow right here for like a little stripe leading into his vine whips. And the base is really cool. It's like the base is probably my favorite part of this uh, uh, of Snivy right here. You know, you got that translucent green with like all the detail right here for the leaves. It's really well done. And uh, he is like sliding on grass, you know, getting ready to use vine whip or razor leaf or who knows what but it looks really good so there you have snivy and he looks amazing and let me put them both together and show them off to you guys one last time all right so here we have rose and snivy together and they're in their battle pose you know she's giving out orders and he's like doing he's sliding on grass you know carrying out those orders and it the whole statue together looks really well done i recommend this one uh, to you guys that like black and white too, if you like Pokemon, you know, or if you just like really nice statues, I recommend you guys get this one. It's really well done. It's really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless. See you guys later.